What's up guys, it's AK Hato here with a Photoshop tutorial. This is my first tutorial, it's been highly requested, how to do a pop-out avatar. Um, I'm going to do this on the Tapex avatar. There's tons of avatars on the internet, phase, uh, optic, anything. So, uh, the first step, you want to open Photoshop, open the avatar PSD. Then you want to get an image, uh, I'm just picking this one, uh, it's Call of Duty, whatever. Uh, you want to go to edit and then paste, or you can just press uh, Control V. And now you have this in here. Uh, I'm going to make it a little smaller so it fits into the... Okay. And now you have this. So it's just right here. Um, I like to have it like there so it pops out where you want it to pop out. So I'm just going to go like that. And now you want to place it as a clipping mask onto the avatar or into the avatar so it's like this and now uh, I want the M8 to pop out so I'm gonna have it be like that so now uh, the M8 would be popping out right here so uh, now we have this layer we're gonna drag it up above the outline uh, most um, PSDs will have the avatar layers um, labeled so the top X one has it labeled uh, I labeled my own uh, this is the outline so you're just gonna wanna duplicate nope you're gonna wanna do um, you're going to want to drag it up above the outline like I said before and then you're gonna want to duplicate the layer hide the first one uh, lower the opacity so it's like that so now you can see the outline and you can see the M8 and now you wanna grab the pen tool which is I believe control P and you're going to want to click and you're going to want to just surround what you want to pop out so I want the M8 to pop out so I'm going to do this this might take a while uh, I've had it take 20 minutes to do one of these it's if it's a really advanced image and you really want it to look good you want it you want to make everything pop out every particle and everything so um, this is just a beginner's tutorial, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the barrels, but it's whatever. It's um not that advanced of an image, to be honest. And I'm about done. You only wanna have what's like faded. Like if it's already in the X, you don't really need to uh outline it at all and pen tool it. So I'm about done right here. This is a really quick one. Uh, you can, like I said before, I've had images take 20 minutes to just pen tool and then I have to make the avi still. Avatar uh, designers are a little underappreciated sometimes. Uh, okay, so now I have what I want to pop out right here, the M8. So now it's completely pen tooled. Uh, you just click select, have the feather radius at zero pixels, and then you're going to want to. Um, what I like to do, once it's selected and you can see these moving, uh, I like to click the magic wand tool right here, which is, I believe, control W, and then you want to click refine edge. And now I like to smooth it out a little and feather it about a half a pixel. And then I click OK, and then I click select inverse, and then um, I like to click delete. So now all I have is the M8. And then I still have the first image hidden, so it's, it's. And then I like to put the opacity back up to 100. That's what you want to do. And so now you can see the M8 popping out. And now you're gonna you're gonna drag the hidden layer. You're gonna unhide the layer, and you're gonna drag it back into the avatar. So it's like this. And now the M8 is popping out. So you can real you can see him. You can see the M8 just popping out. It looks pretty cool. Um, I like the effect of the pop out. This is a pretty simple one. It doesn't really look amazing, but there's ones that look really cool. I have some on my uh, portfolio that I've done. They look pretty nice. So now you have this. You're going to want to drag the layer that you just put back in the app. You can actually drag it. I like to do this so it adds another pop out effect kind of. You're going to want to drag it under everything so it's like this. And now what I like to do is I like to make it big. And then. So you want part of the image that uh, I like to do this so it's like the soldier's face you want to just pick something and you're gonna want to put the um, 
you want it to duplicate that layer actually. So it's, if it's still in the same size, you're just gonna want to duplicate it, and then you're gonna want to make it big. So it's like this. So you have the backup layer too. Then you're gonna want to put what you want in the background. You want to put it at like I put it at seven eight. Some people put it at like twenty. Um, then you're gonna drag the other layer back into the avatar. This is a little complicated, but um, so it's like that. So basically you have the background image, you can see a little right here, you can see the soldier. It adds a really cool pop, double pop out effect of just the normal pop out. And uh, it looks really nice on Twitter. Um, you can also put a clip mask so this is in the text as well. I do that sometimes, so you're going to want to duplicate the 7% layer and just drag it up above the text, so it's like this. If you didn't know how to clip mask, you just right click clipping mask. And it will clipping mask whatever's on the bot, whatever's under it. You're gonna want to put the opacity of that layer back up to 100 so you can see it. So you can actually see it in the text right there. Uh, I'm gonna drag it so you can see it a little better. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna drag it a little more actually. There we go. So now it's like that. Uh, you can put a layer style in the outline. Um, you want to put something that matches it. Uh, I don't, that looks pretty good. Um, there's tons of ones that I have. Uh, y if you buy my pack, um, it has like over 60 layer styles. Most of these and some other ones that I used to use. Uh, they're all really good. So there, that's how to do a pop out. Um, a lot of people sell these for like five bucks. I, s I personally sell them for two if you don't have Photoshop. So um, yeah, just hit me up if you want one. Uh, here was how to do it. Pretty simple tutorial. It's not really that advanced. Um, I learned this a while back. It looks pretty nice. Uh, makes your Twitter look nice. Makes your YouTube look nice. It's just a uh, pretty good type of graphic design. So uh, leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.